Hello, I'm Adobe Stock Contributor Evangelist Matt Hayward. I understand you're ready to get started as a stock contributor. Before you can do that, you need to create an account. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's get started. Okay, here we are. This is the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal, and this is where you get started. So again, if you don't have an Adobe ID yet, you can click that blue Join Now button to create your free Adobe ID. Assuming you've already done that and you've got a valid Adobe ID, go ahead and click the Link My Adobe ID button found in the center of the page. Once here, go ahead and enter your Adobe ID, the Adobe ID that you want to use for your contributor account. Select Continue. Enter the password for your Adobe ID. Select Continue. Go ahead and disregard this if you want to or set it up. It's entirely up to you. Click Continue. And now this page is important. So even if you're not ready to officially get started and upload your first asset, I need you to go ahead and click the Upload My First Asset button. You can disregard all the Fatolia information at the bottom of the page. Just click Upload My First Asset. That finalizes the registration process. And now your Adobe Stock Contributor account is set up and ready to go. It's as easy as that. So I have other tutorials online showing you exactly how to upload your content. So I'm not going to get into that in this video. What I do want to show you is this contributor account link near the top. This is one of the first things you're going to want to do once you log into the contributor portal for the first time. Go and click that contributor account link. Confirm that your first and last name is accurate. That's set through your Adobe ID. And then your display name. This is what's visible to the public through your portfolio page. And so you can edit that if you want to. Just hover the mouse over your name, click the edit icon, and type in whatever uh, public-facing profile name that you want in there. You can also opt out of your email notifications. You're opted in by default, uh, daily moderation notifications, and your earnings summary. So if you don't want to get those emails, you can check those boxes, uncheck those boxes, excuse me, to stop getting those notifications. Otherwise, you will get them by default. But what's very important you do is click this blue button that says Add Tax Information. You need to submit a valid tax form at Adobe Stock. Otherwise, your royalties will be subject to the maximum withholding rate. And so to avoid that, click the Add Tax Information button, fill out your tax form, and then you are ready to get started uploading your content. So check out my other videos showing you how to do that. My name is Matt Hayward. Thanks for watching this one. We'll see you soon.